Your, your Honor, I, I'd like to address the court on my own behalf, if I may. Eugene. Please. I'll allow it. The way I see it, I've been living on borrowed time for well past a decade now. And by all rights, someone like me should have met my maker on the very first day things started to fall apart. And the thing is, I would have, were it not for the aid of friends. Friends who have not only changed me, but changed the hearts and minds of so many others. I am beyond certain that my faith will not discourage them from keeping that going, from helping others to find the courage to do what's right. I was not always a good man. Some time ago, I fell in with a posse who thrived on doing some downright unseemly acts on the reg. I looked the other way. I placed value on order and safety above all other things. But I soon realized that while I wasn't the one swinging the bat, I nevertheless had blood on my hands. I knew what was happening. My inaction made me culpable, and I hated myself for that. So I did something. In my own little way, I changed the world. And I learned that one person can do that. And sometimes all it takes is one person to do that. Thank you. That, that is all. Your Honor, the defense rests. The Commonwealth finds Eugene Porter guilty of murder in the first degree. Sentenced to 150 consecutive.